The following is an official law video of the Dark Diaspora Universe, a journey in world building project. Lexi had to escape the hollow. Her entire life had been defined by roughly hewn stone walls, low ceilings, cramped spaces, and stale recycled air. She chastised herself for being so naive to think that this was all that life had to offer. The bullying, the fear, the starvation, the pain. She had accepted it all. Yet, an impending forced marriage to a delusional leader of a misguided post-apocalypse cult lifted the veil from her eyes. In recent months, she had spent much of her time listening. The tunnels were full of nooks and crannies, perfect for stealthy subterfuge to spy on the leader and elders of the Hollow's Keepers. It seemed claims made by the leader that the residents of the Hollow were the last of humanity were patiently false. In fact, there were apparently hundreds of thousands of people on this very planet called quarks, and hundreds of millions spread across a vast swath of the galaxy. She had also discovered that the periodic shaking that the tunnels experience once every seven weeks were not attempts by some great evil to root them out, as had been claimed. Instead, there was something called a floating processor platform that maintained a meandering route across the world which would periodically float above the hollow. She did hear talk of something called the slime a vast primordial oozing creature that covered the entire surface and consumed everything it touched. At first, she thought this was another ruse designed to keep her and the other residents contained within the hollow's tunnels. But the fear and the voices of the leader and the elders, when confronted by the threat of something called a slime steep, convinced her that that particular tell was real. The day arrived of her planned escape. Then she hopped up from her small cot after a sleepless night of anticipation. Yet, as she went to leave, she found the door to her quarters locked in the face of an old woman, one of the elders, smiling devilishly at her for a moment before walking away. She knows, Lexi exclaimed to herself, panic gripping her. Her mind raced at the thought, trying to identify what gave her away. Maybe it was the dirt on her hands from her digging or her unexplained absences over recent weeks, or perhaps they simply meant to combine her ahead of her impending nuptials. Yet, a resolve washed over Lexi. She had spent her entire life in the hollows. A simple locked door was never going to contain her. She rushed back to her cot and Jimmy'd opened the air vent on the wall. There inside was a small bag containing a face mask and a breather, a coat and some gas canisters. The vent was now also her way out. She squeezed into the narrow entrance before pulling close the vent cover behind her. It was tight, but her lithe and undernourished form moved easily enough. She crawled like she had when she was a child. Her memories of the vent network flooded back into her mind and soon, she found herself looking down into a storage room from the ceiling above. Just then, an obnoxious alarm began to echo throughout the hollows. Her escape from the quarters had been noted. No doubt she was now being haunted. She kicked open the ceiling vent and dropped into the storage room, moving behind a set of boxes that hid in a narrow tunnel of earth and rock she had carved out with rudimentary tools in her hands. The tunnel, 15 feet long, bridged a gap to a metallic entry shaft that she had uncovered during her spine. Entering the shaft, she grabbed a hold of the rung ladder and began to climb. Where is my bride? A particularly angry, boisterous, and blistering voice bellowed from the storage room beyond the wall. It was the leader. They were searching for her. She climbed faster, scaling some 200 feet before reaching what she now understood to be the surface hatch. Immediately donning her breathing mask and sliding her slender arms into the jacket, she retrieved the gas cartridges and slid them one by one into a series of openings in the hatch. She glanced down as intrusive torchlight beams suddenly carved through the deep dark of the bottom of the shaft. The heavy footfalls on metal rung ladders vibrated through her hands. With the hatch armed, she pressed the button on the center of the main hatch console and within moments, a deafening sound, like a thunderous bellowing roar, reverberated through the hatch above her. She clung to the ladder, 
her hands covering her ears at the audible onslaught. Her pursuers closed as the assault and cacophony finally ceased, replaced by the creaking of the hatch as it swung open. Without a second thought to the dangers above, she climbed out. Lexi was immediately struck by the cold, biting frigid that cut through her jacket and scraps of clothing. She stood there for a moment, shivering violently as she gazed at the expansive landscape and vibrant iridescent nebula and star-filled sky above her. It was all so vast, crushingly so for someone who had only ever known the hollows and for a moment, Lexi felt a pure terror strike her. Just as she was about to collapse from the shock, she glanced over to the horizon to see a giant object, like a floating mountain of metal and machinery cruising towards her. It was the platform. She reached into her bag and withdrew the final item in her arsenal, a flare gun, aiming it into the air and firing. The tracer flare illuminated her surroundings with a vibrant red, though within moments. This was drowned out as several spotlights from the platform were trained on her. Then, she saw the slime. The gas cartridges she had inserted seemed to have armed a series of small flamethrowers on the edges of the hatch that burnt back the slime to create a safe zone for Lexi's exit. Yet, even now, the oozing slime was steadily crawling towards her, seeking not only to reclaim its recently charred territory, but also to devour this naive girl. A small hovercraft had been dispatched from the processing platform and lowered a rope from above her, offering her the escape for which she so desperately longed. She grabbed a hold of the dangling rope, slipping one foot into a loop at the end, a feeling of relief washing over her. Yet, Lexi was startled by the feel of a hand grasping her leg. She looked down to see the leader reaching from the hatch, his old grizzled bearded face filled with anger and fury. You're mine! He barked furiously. Lexi kicked and thrashed to free herself, yet the leader's grasp remained painfully firm. But as she felt the sudden upward thrust of the rescue craft retracting the rope, Lexi felt herself break free of the leader's punishing hold. Exhilaration filled her as she heard the screams of agony and pain of the slime rolling over the body of the man she once believed to be divine. And as she was pulled aboard the hovercraft, she witnessed the slime poured into the open hatch, flowing down into the shaft with a reckless abandon. Lexi smiled. There was much in the hollow for the slime to devour. The last vestiges of her now former life. 